Hey everyone, welcome back to another Painting with Jay. As always, my name is Jay, so grab a brush, grab some models, grab some paints, and paint along with me. Let's rid our world of unpainted models. Yes. Shout out to Cody Roo and Adam, you missed a spot. Today I'm going to continue to work on my Primaris Marines. I, um, I'm in the home stretch. I'm in the home stretch of my Primaris Marines. I have about five or six left of the Primaris Marines, then a squad of scouts, and a few vehicles. And so I'm hoping to be done within the next month, month and a half of. Um, so, you know, by almost by the end of summer, I will be done my Primaris Marines and then start my next painting project, which is cool. Um, yeah, so I'll talk about stuff today and let's get started. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, so I'm back and it's time to do a painting with Jay as, you, as we discussed. So welcome back. I'm working on this captain, which has um, over painting issues, which I'm going to clean up today and uh, start with the glazing and then we'll go from there. I don't know how much I'm going to get done today over the next hour, but let's get as much done as we can. This is the last really big mod. Sorry, I have this captain for the primary side. I have this captain, an ancient, and three inceptors. Inceptors, I believe? Yeah. What are they called? Jump back, guys. So, yeah. Let's get started on him today. Let's keep going with him. I'm going to start by cleaning him up a little bit with some Ushabti bone. I'm going to, of course, thin it down with some Lamia medium, as always. And, uh, yeah, as I said, my goal for today is to get as much done on this guy as possible. I'm kind of in the home stretch. I was going to buy a bunch of... I was really debating whether or not to go and buy a bunch of models. And I decided I might... I'm probably not going to. I really don't want to keep buying mo new models. Now, I did want to buy, honestly, I wanted to buy the new uh, Imperial Knights... Apoc, um, Apoc detachment when I went on sale, but I was away from the house for like two hours. I came back, sold out, and now it's sold out. So, yay, limited edition. Very, very limited edition. It was too good to be true, really. Basically, you bought a, you know, a Castellan, and you got two Armagers for free. Armager. So, whatever. I'll have to buy them separately in the future. That's okay. Um, I am still debating on, on like the, there's a couple really good deals in there. I, I really like the, um, Admech one. You know, it's a good price. And prices are about to jump, obviously, at GW. I don't know if you heard about it. GW is doing a price increase. They do it, they used to do it annually, usually in May. This is a little bit later in the year. I'm just going to put my towel right there. Um, but uh, yeah, price increase happens next Monday. So I'm going to be away next week for most of the week, which is going to be cool. I have someone house sitting. I'm, uh, I'm fishing, going fishing with my, uh, my girlfriend and her family. So it'll be really cool. Um, I'm looking forward to the trip. I'm looking forward to a break, frankly. It's the last vacation I got was Adepticon in March or April. So I don't take a lot of breaks from, from my work. And I'm frankly very happy to be just taking a couple days off. I need a break. It's, it's piling up. It really is. So, yeah, work is really piling up, but it pays the bills, and so I keep doing it, right? That's the name of the game, it pays the bills, so you do it. I don't live for my work, I work for, I work to live, but oh my goodness. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Well, I'm depressing. Sorry, I'm keeping the window open because it's really hot in here. And you can probably hear the traffic. I am on a quasi-busy street. That's okay. Today we're just painting and relaxing. Yeah, so I'm going to go fishing. I, I even went out and bought a fishing... I had to get a fishing license. And in Ontario, you need what's called an outdoor card. I call it being outdoor license which makes no sense, but uh, the government likes to just make a few extra dollars, get a few extra bucks from it. Yeah, I don't know. 
Happy Fourth uh, of July to my American friends, and of course, Happy Canada Day to my Canadian friends. I'm filming this on the Fourth of July before I go to work, and uh, yeah. Fourth of July, the original Brexit. <laughs> so, yeah, happy Fourth of July. The summer's been fun so far. It's, the weather's been nice. The weather's been really nice so far. I'm happy that it's finally warmed up. I can wear shorts. And it goes by so fast, as you all know. So I feel like in three or four painting with Jays, I'll be like, and now it's winter. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm really happy with, uh, I do have some summer plans. Um, most of them is just go to Music Fest. I'm taking my girlfriend to see Chris Stapleton in the fall, or not in the fall, but later in the summer. I'm going to catch a Blue Jays game at some point. They suck, but I want to see them. It's tradition for me. I love to see the Blue Jays once a year. As you can see, this color is really just cleaning it up. Um, I, unlike Adam who misses spots, I overpainted spots, so that's okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna clean it up for now, get it all nice and done, and then do a couple highlights. The glazing is probably where I'll stop for the day here. And then maybe if I have a little time, I'll paint some Gene Steeler cults or something with the, uh, the contrast paints. I've been making a few contrast paint videos. And it's been kind of fun to bring my channel back up to um, what used to be normal views for me. I kind of been, I was kind of fading into obscurity for a while. So it's been cool. You know, I really, I like the, the contrast paints overall. They don't have, there's a couple things I'm not the biggest fan of, to be honest, but um, I think the, I really like some ideas of like mixing them with metals. If you want to check out my video, I did a, a, a review video on that, but it, it turns out really well. I think it's cool. I'm thinking I might just do a whole army of contrast painted miniatures. Especially after this, you know, um, painting Space Marines for like two and a half, three months. I might just, you know, paint. Now I will not only with contrast paints. I'm going to probably give a quick highlight with like a dry brush or an edge highlight just to bring the models to life. But uh, I really like the idea of just for once sitting down over a couple months, a month or two and putting a whole army together. It'd be a lot of fun. It would be a lot of fun. And now also I'm I'm in the home stretch. I really am. Uh, you know, we I say, you know, when we sit down, let's rid our world of unpainted models. And what I've been doing is I've been inventorying all my, my models that I have to paint, right? To make sure that everything gets painted, what army I want to paint it as, because I do have several Space Marine vehicles, for example, that could be painted up as Vanilla Marines, which are Imperial Fists to me. Uh, they could be, um, you know, Dark Angels, which I do have a whole Dark Angel army. I just don't play them right now. Um, yeah, and, um, what else? Uh, good, some vehicles I can go Grey Knights, right? And Grey Knights, for actually the transports might be the way to go, only because they still, like, I'd still use normal Grey Knight Marines. Um, Primaris Marines have really replaced the, you know, the normal Marines, um, in the meta. So let's clean up this the face. There's gonna be a huge, you know, huge change after I do this step. And really clean it up. And then I can just uh, highlight, glaze, maybe start in the bronzes. What are the things about my summer plans? I'm um, I'm gonna go to Music Fest, of course. Peterborough Music Fest. Peterborough, for those of you who don't know, that's not good, what I just did. Um, Peterborough Music Fest. 
Peterborough has a free concert series where they bring in mostly Canadian artists. Uh, sometimes American or international, but mostly Canadian. There we go. I still saved a little bit of the detail in the eye. You can always re-wash it. Um, and the artists usually, some, some of them are good. There's usually two or three names a year that I'm like, oh, I really want to see them. This year is mostly repetitive, to be honest, but I'm still going to see them. Um, I'm, who have I seen so far? Uh, the big names so far, oh, sorry, City and Color was last week. City and Color is kind of an emo, I call him emo, but he's like a emo songwriter. He's also a member of the band Alexis on Fire. It's Dallas Green. And uh, he was pretty good. Really depressing. Good. Just depressing, depressing music. There we go. That really cleaned that up. I'll fix the eye a little bit and then start the high edge highlights. But that step, as you can see from the beginning where I started, cleaned it up a lot. And that's good. Good to get that cleaned up for the, for the uh, glazing. Um, yeah, I've been having a lot of fun painting Space Marines. I've actually enjoyed it. As I said, I painted a bunch of Space Marines. I was thinking about maybe picking up like a box set like the uh, Tooth and Claw, which is now unavailable anyway. Um, it disappeared again. Because I do have some genes to a cult, and I, my next army is going to be Imperial Knights. That I've decided, because after painting tons of these little guys for a while, all the same, you know, I paint orcs for like seven, eight months, and then I'm painting Space Marines for a couple months. I really just want to paint something big, you know, a big model that I can paint over a week or two, get her done, get her, get on with it. Right now, I still have three more knights to paint, but I might be picking up a Castellan in the near future. So let's get some. Next highlight color is uh, Screaming Skull. Wherever it went. There it is. So once again, thin it down with some Lamy Medium. And let's start highlighting up with some Screaming Skull. Yep, yeah, uh, I saw Dallas Green slash Sydney Color last week. I saw Chaos last night. He was good. Chaos is um, a t uh, not a t a, um, a Canadian rapper slash hip hop artist. Pretty good. He was fun. A lot of fun. He had a hype man. I realized I really need a hype man in my life. Make life so much more fun. But uh, he was really good. Played all those classics, you know. Uh, what other artists am I really looking forward to? Um, next week is Country. Oh, I'm, in a couple weeks is uh, the Crash Test Dummies. You know, let's begin. So I'm just highlighting up certain parts of them to make them stand out. Um, Crash Test Dummies are ever united, and um, so they're coming to Peterborough in a couple weeks. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm looking forward to them. Who else? Uh, Chad Brownlee. He's a pretty good country artist, Canadian. He wasn't had the chance of like playing professional hockey or something like that. He got injured, became a country, country artist. Uh, we have another country art day which is next week for the, what they're called the Rec Laws. It's a brother and sister duo. They come kind of every year. We'll go see them. Why not? Um, who else? That's a, out of the names I'm really looking forward to. We have an old classic rock band, I call classic, but uh, an old Canadian rock band called 5440 coming. Be honest, not really caring about that one. Um, yeah, so that'll be some concerts I'm looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to taking my girlfriend to see Chris Stapleton. Um, she has always wanted to see Chris Stapleton, so it's her birthday present. She knows about it. I don't want to spoil birthday presents, but um, it was hard not to spoil this one. 
because if I didn't tell her, she would have gone out and bought tickets, and she would have bought tickets from a scalper and paid a lot of money. A lot of money. So, obviously, tell her in this case to avoid craziness, right? Yeah, that'll be good. Frankly, I really want to play in a tournament sometime. I don't think I will in the near future, because there's no tournaments that I'm... Every time a tournament's coming up, like my friend Dave is playing a tournament uh, next weekend, and also it's the same days as our local, one of our local tournaments as well, and I'm working. So, you know, I, book off, I need to book off days so far in advance that by, these things, by the time I'm told about these things, it's way too late. That's okay, as I said, I work to pay the bills. That's what I keep doing. Next we'll do white, highlight it up some more, and then um, and then we'll uh, glaze it. There we go. Let's begin. Yeah. Like, as I said, I've been actually enjoying these Space Marines. Primary Marines are fun. They feel a little basic, but I've been, I've been training them to a decent level. And uh, I'm really enjoying painting them. Yeah, I've been really enjoying it. And as I said, I'm not, not, I'm decided I'm not going to buy more. I could really flesh out my army. I really want I might buy one, like, easy to assemble Dreadnought or something because I'm one elite shy of a. Of a of a detachment, you know. Um, let me just make sure that's that's in their focus. Whoop. Um, I'm one more of a not a battalion, a brigade, a brigade detachment, and I'd kind of like to get there. To be honest, that'd be cool. So maybe I'll get like an easy to assemble, and I'm still debating. I know people, it kind of sucks, but I really want to buy that new vehicle. Um, luckily, I don't have to really buy from GW directly. I can buy from like Meeple Mart or something that can get a decent uh, like a discount on it. Because I don't think anybody's really gonna a lot of people are gonna buy that tank. It's okay to be honest. It's not bad. I should do a review. I've seen the rules. Um, so now I'm just gonna take some uh, white scar and do an edge highlight. And what this will do is just really make some certain edges pop. Let that dry. And then start uh, edge highlighting. Not edge highlighting. Um, glazing with my glaze. Now, I did put out a new video um, where I used the glaze uh, in my recent Miniature Painting 101. And I have another Miniature Painting 101 uh, being edited right now. I'm editing it right now. But um, the funniest thing is, I do realize that people pointed out to me that by the time I release the video, the paint has been discontinued. I don't care if it's all good, you can still use the you know, equivalent paints. But yeah, it's kind of ironic. And it really sucks to me, in my opinion, because I really love, I've really fallen in love with the yellow glaze. It's been my paint that I've been highlighting up, you know, glazing with for these miniatures. And... Um, it's really unfortunate that they, they brought in a new one, and I made my next miniature painting 101 is on the new paints that they used. That they brought in the transparent air paints, but it's not as good. It has a very strong uh, gloss finish to it, versus the the uh, the glaze, um, which has you know a a matte finish, which I prefer. I really do prefer that, so. Oh well. 
but it's a good paint. The I know the technical paints were like situational. The um, the glazes, but they were really good. I've used the red for several things before. Um, I've used the greens. The blue is cool. I didn't use the blue as much as the other ones. But um, It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate that um, it's been discontinued. I like the paint. I highly recommend it. So I did go and buy a bunch in case because um, I've decided that my Imperial Knights are. I, I've been painting them all like a different color each night and making tutorials out of them. Primarily, you know, the like the Renegade Knights and stuff. But I decided I'm going to go with a color scheme for the rest of them. I have. Um, I'll make five of them the same color scheme and I've decided to go with now I and I, the thing is I do intentionally try to do different colors for each army that's what I've always tried to do to push myself as a painter to work with different colors to have some variety right um, but I've decided to go with Hawk Shroud I really like the Hawk Shroud color scheme and the rules so I'm going with Hawk Shroud for my Imperial Knights so after painting yellow on Space Marines for a couple months, I'm going to be painting yellow on Imperial Knights for a couple months. And that's okay. Right, more yellow. Luckily, I still have some of this glaze that I have plenty to, um, to work with. There we go. Yeah, it dries pretty fast right now. So I'm doing just a thin edge highlight. But um, I'll just do a quick edge highlight on the hat, the helmet. And I just realized I actually have another. I um, I got one at Adepticon, so I have another. Imperial Knight, uh, not Imperial Knight, Imperial Fist to paint. So one more Imperial Knight uh, Fist after this list. So I have about five left after this guy. That's okay. I'm going to keep going. Just keep painting and uh, get rid of my world of unpainted models. I think I need to paint this brush. I think something's dried in it. But um, after this captain, I think I have another captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Captain? Captain. Captain? Captain. As you can see, this will really just make certain edges really pop, and it'll look really nice. When I'm done the glazing, it all ties together, makes it yellow, and uh, it'll be looking pretty good. Yeah. I'd say it'll look pretty good. Um, also, I can go back, because I do use a wet palette. I just noticed, for example... Clean up one of the hands as well. There we go. And we have the next stage of the captain. You know, I could have done his head red. Hmm. Maybe I'll do his helmet red. What's the color of the box? No, not just yellow. So, let's, uh, it's pretty much dried already, because it, it's a very thin layer. 
So let's get started. Let's uh, take out our shade brush. Take out my favorite color I'm using lately, the uh, Lamenter's Yellow, which is the glaze. Let's start glazing this dude. Oh. And get this guy into yellow. Hmm, okay. Clean up the brush a little bit. So, yep, I'm just gonna glaze him. Uh, we're what, 25 minutes into the video? Okay. The glaze actually dries pretty fast. But it definitely takes two, two thin coats. Because as you can see, like that's yellow, but uh, it doesn't, it's not yellow. It's, it's like a, a brownie yellow first, and then once you do a second coat, it really brings it to yellow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually really liking these, uh, the, the, some of the sale items, the, the detachments for Apocalypse. I did a review on Apocalypse, if you want to go check it out. Um, the new Apocalypse is actually kind of interesting. I like it. Uh, I'll try to get a game sometime. Maybe with Dave. But if so, I probably won't film it. So, I don't think... I think most of Dave's big guys aren't painted yet. That's okay. He's slowly ridding his world of unpainted models, too. Except he keeps buying a lot. That's okay. Each his own. I'm not judging Dave. It's a real Dave move, Dave. Kidding, Dave. But uh, my goal is to rid my world of unpainted models, and I'm accomplishing it. I really am. I have significantly less models than I do today than I did at the beginning of the year. And that is a win. Right? That's a win. That's a painting less models, need to paint less models win. Win. Roll the next clip, Steven. Um, that's definitely a win. I'm, I'm really happy about that. That's my goal. Not, and it's not everyone's goal, and that's okay, but kind of it is to everyone. You know, we always do want to have a, all fully painted miniatures. I hate, personally, it, 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 it makes me feel bad when I look and I have tons of miniatures left to assemble and paint. And um, like I, sh I couldn't, have, I don't have to buy them then. I could have just later. Of course, as I said, price rate, prices do change, but still. Um, yeah, and so I really just want to, it would be, my dream is to just buy a model one day and take it home, open it up, assemble it, paint it with no remorse, no guilt that I have so many more models left to paint. And I know people keep saying, that's a pipe dream, that's a pipe dream, that's a pipe dream. It actually isn't. I'm, um, I'm in the home stretch. I actually, I inventoried all my, my unpainted models that I need to paint. And based on rough, you know, I give myself a good timeline, a rough timeline. I could be entirely done my models by next summer. The current pace I'm going, I could actually have done probably end of spring, summer. Could even have it done faster. I've been really powering through, fighting the urge to buy a lot of new models. Um, and then, if I really want to flesh out my armies, I can. Um, obviously, I have tons of orcs, but I could buy something like a a Mecha Dread. Um, my Space Marines, I can buy. As I said, I'm debating on that new vehicle. I really am. I know what you're thinking. It's not the strongest, but Space Marines need it. As I discussed in videos before, Space Marines need heavy shooting, and we don't have a lot.
Yeah. Um, but I will be done Space Marines soon, Vanilla Marines at least. And then I'm going to do Imperial Knights. And then I'm probably, right now I'm thinking, I'm going to take a couple months and uh, maybe some train. Maybe some train in this as well, this timeline. Maybe a couple weeks for terrain, because I'd really like to build some more terrain. I have some awesome terrain from Death Ray Designs that I really want to paint up. But what I really want to do is paint Gene Steer Cult, right? Do a whole army. So spend like two weeks assembling all the models and then see if I can paint the entire army using uh, contrast paints in a matter of like a month. It'd be kind of a fun challenge. And I agree it'd be a slightly lower standard than I usually paint to, but that's okay. As I said, if I do um, an edge highlight or a quick dry brush, I feel that the models will still turn out decent enough to be, you know, in tournament and not be laughed at or, you know, judged by... Um, no, I don't think that... I, I don't think I would at all. And it'd be really fun. And I've been working a little bit on my jeans to recall models on the side, just... Um, whenever I have time between Imperial Fist models. Um, as you can see, after one coat, like this is, it's yellow, but it's it's not the yellowest yellow. So I want to do one more coat after this to really uh, bring it into the yellow. Just, you know, the set the yellow. Um. Cool. So Curious what time it is. So there you go. One coat done. One coat done. It is currently 10:13. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry for a minute and come back. Okay, so it's taking a little while to dry, so I might as well keep going, paint for another 20 minutes, and uh, yeah. So let's work on some jeans to recall. Why not? As I said, we've been having fun. Uh, let's paint up some jeans to recall, guys. I lost. I can't find one of my model holders. Hmm. But we're wonder where it went. There's my large one. I'll give up looking in a second because I'm not gonna spend the video looking. My neighbor is mowing the lawn, which I'm not gonna get mad at him because he keeps his lawn nice and tidy. It's just a little annoying when you know. That's okay. Let's paint some guys. So jeans are cards. This is my basic color scheme, and as you can see, it turned out pretty well. And then once again, I did a quick highlight of the oranges and the purples. And that really brings out the flesh tones and a couple of their highlights, and that's what I think really drives this um, the system, the contrast paints. You add a couple, um, just with a simple couple, you know, highlights, it really brings the models to life, and it really just makes them look awesome. I think so. So right now we'll take out some of the uh, Blood Angel Red, and I'm going to paint the tongues. Uh, Blood Angel Red, of course, and then I'll do the eyes yellow. I went with yellow because it, it had more of a contrast, no pun intended. It stood out more. There we go. Right there. Um, yeah. But I'm really happy with the way that these are turning out. And I, I'm not... I'm actually really thinking just buying a bunch of the contrast paints, of course. And... Uh, buying the contrast paints and painting up like a whole Gene Steeler cult army, which I think this army would really work well with them, to be honest. I think they would. Uh, in a matter of like a month and a half. Let's see if I can do it. Like 2,000 points of Gene Steeler cult. As you guys know, that's a lot of points of Gene Steeler cult. I'm going to grab a more detailed brush. But um, it's a lot of points of Gene Steeler cult. But I think I can do it with these contrast paints. Maybe like give myself a month and a half, two months and get it them all done. 
And then with the vehicles, just, you know, paint them all separately as well, airbrush them. Life's good. Um, but uh, we'll see. I'll probably be starting that this painting project in the fall. Um, because, as I said, I have the summer figured out, I'm pretty sure. I will do... Imperial Knights after this. Get up some big guys done. Plus it'd be fun for Apocalypse to get some Imperial Knights done. And, uh, yeah. In case I want to run a giant Imperial Knight army. Good. Look at that. Tongues up. So, let's uh, switch up colors now. Take out the Yan and Yellow. Yep. Paint the eyes. Do non-metallic metal on the, the another thing I could do is afterwards um, a quick edge a quick dry brush over the weapons as well. Um, that would really make the guns pop as well. But um, I think these will work. To me, if I put these on the tabletop, I wouldn't be ashamed of them. I'm gonna probably I'm gonna even try. I'm thinking about that. I might even buy a few of the um, the new. Uh, texture paints and do the bases with them. Do a whole, you know, it'd be kind of a fun experience to do a whole army with just, you know, the, the contrast paints with a quick highlight, the technical paints, get them done, get them on the tabletop. I think they'd turn out okay. So, I'll do it. It's my army anyway. Do what I want. Plus, like a painting with Jay, I could paint probably almost an entire, you know, uh, in a painting with Jay, I could probably almost paint an entire uh, squad. Maybe not. Maybe half a squad or something. Probably take me about two hours a squad, I estimate. Which is bad. Two hours a squad. Well, I'm sitting here painting these guys, right? I've painted uh, up several of them. And uh, it'd be nice to just power through an army. And that's kind of the purpose. I know that's the, uh, it's one of the purposes of the contrast paints. I think it's going to be some other really cool combinations. But um, these guys are really, like using contrast paints, they're really easy to paint up. They're really easy. Plus, as you know, as I said, there are, when you're painting a, um, you know, not shyish purple, Where's the gray? Um, I've got to keep my paints organized. <laughs> I really do. That's Black Templar. Um, that is the Shyish Purple. There we go. I'm going to take the Administra the Basilicum Gray, give it a good shake, and paint up these guys as well. So, um, yeah. And if I just focus on the, you know, painting up to the standard, it'd be consistent among the army. I have easily like 2,000 points of Gene Steeler cult, uh, including Gene Steelers, right? I have tons of Gene Steelers. Good. Here are the swords painted up. Um, it wouldn't take very long. It wouldn't take very long. 
And this is a cool, simple color scheme. There's plenty of color on them. They're definitely more than three color minimum. And it would work. Again, a quick dry brush of a gray over that would really bring the swords and gun to life. Cool. Cool stuff. Mm -hmm. See, this squad is worth almost like 30 points itself. Okay, a little more than that. But it's not too much. That's the thing with Gene Circle, it's a horde army. I have a lot of horde armies. It's kind of my thing. Um, and, yeah. So it's going to be a fun challenge to pay them up. I have essentially a few armies left to work on. I have my Gene Seer Cult, I have uh, Admech, I have Grey Knights to finish up. I have still a few Grey Knight models that I can paint up. Um, and um, that's about it. Gene Seer Cult, Imperial Knights. And then Jay might take a break from painting. Okay. I might actually, once I get all my models done, I can take a break for a couple weeks. I deserve it. And then if I want to buy a model, I can just go out and buy it, paint it up over a few weeks. You know, not in a rush. Get it on the tabletop, play it in games, play it in tournaments. It's a good, it's a good dream to have. There we go. Look at that. Look at that, buddy. I like. I like. <laughs> cool. So I'll go back to the contrast red for a second. I want to paint that bandana on his leg red. And then uh, I'm going to probably call it for the day. We're about 45 minutes into the video. The yellow is not, uh, I'll check on the limiter's yellow after this and see how it's doing. So if it's dried, we can continue. If not, I'll finish it up over the next week. And next week, should start a new model with you all. Talk about my fishing trip. Because I'm going fishing for a couple days. It's going to be a nice trip. There we go. Look at him. Look at him. I wonder if any of them will sound that. Oh, the other thing. Oh, Ken. He does too. This guy does as well. Yeah, it'd be cool. As I said, I'd love to focus on an army and just paint it super quick. Spend a week or two just assembling so that I have everything in front of me. Maybe even batch paint the heck out of it. Maybe not. I could vlog it. I don't know if many people will watch it. There we go. So, yeah, let's end now because, uh, let me see here. I don't think the Lamenter's yellow is dried. No, it's still wet. It's taking a little bit to dry. I don't have the time. To, uh, to wait and film before work. So let's end now. So that concludes another episode of Painting with Jay. I know it was a little bit shorter of an episode, but that's okay, as long as we're getting stuff done. And of course, I'm gonna be back as always next week, and I'm gonna keep painting these Space Marines until they're all complete. Um, yeah, as I said, I don't really know what I'm gonna do, actually, when I'm starting painting Imperial Knights. Maybe I'll just do highlights or something and show that. But uh, most stuff will be by airbrush, of course, when I start doing Imperial Knights. But I still have a few more Space Marines left to go. I still have to finish up this Captain, which I should have done well before next week's episode. And then a, an Ancient, which will be a while. That'll be about a week in itself. And a squad of Inceptors, followed by some Scouts and maybe a few Vehicles. We'll see. 
I've decided to paint them. So like I said, probably a few more weeks of Space Marines. And then I'm going to start on Imperial Lights. And then maybe my insane Gene Steeler cult craziness. Yeah. Build for like a week and a half. Build all my models. Like a hundred and... I think I have 140 models to paint. So build them all. Go crazy. And then just go through. That'd be kind of a fun challenge. So... Stay tuned more painting with Jay. I really hope you're accomplishing stuff done. I hope your summer's going well. I hope you have some cool summer plans. And uh, yeah, I hope you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel like I am. I'm actually really starting to see it and it feels good. I'm, uh, once I get Space Marines done, it's a huge feather in my cap and then I can just start the next army and the next army and the boxes are starting to really disappear from my workshop. Um, there's not a whole lot left. There's a lot of empty shelf space. I'm hoping you're starting to see that too. So stay tuned for more episodes of Painting with Jay. As always, this is brought to you by my Patreon campaign. Link in the description below if you want to help support my videos. It's because of them that I keep making these videos. And as you can see, their names are by my head. So if you really want to help support my videos, please check out the link and support my campaign. Stay tuned for more Painting with Jay. And as long as I'm Jay saying happy painting with me.